Hi, my name is Mr. Exim and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. You need to make an instant quick recording of your screen on your Windows device? Well, I'm going to show you two really simple ways to do just that. Let's get started. I'm going to show you two ways you can record your screen using stuff that's inbuilt into your Windows device already probably. So the first, which is very well hidden away, is underneath the Windows Start menu and you t start typing in Xbox and this thing comes up called the Xbox Game Bar. And it looks like this and it's for recording your gaming. Now you may want, you'll probably need to switch on your microphone up here and it may not let you first, I may say it's blocked, you just click that to fix it. All you gotta do is basically give that app permission to e access your microphone. There we go, switch it on. All right, go back into it and now I'll be able to use my microphone and all I gotta do is hit that record button. And off I go. You see up here it says it's recording. Okay, I'm going to go in here and talk through whatever it is I want to talk through on my, on my OneNote. And when I'm done, I just click stop. Game clip recorded. And you'll notice also that it's come up with that shortcut. Now this is fantastic. You don't even need to go to the start menu. If you press the Windows icon on your keyboard and G, it just pops up. So it's a fantastic shortcut for this that gets you straight into it. So as it put that screen recording, well if you go into your Explorer and you go to videos, you'll see something called captures. And here it is. There's that little video clip. So, that's a quick way of recording your screen. The other one is in PowerPoint. PowerPoint has an inbuilt screen recorder. If you go to insert, and over here, you've got screen recording. Okay, I get this little menu pops up at the top. All I'll do now is select the area that I want. I'm gonna select the whole screen there. And then I'm gonna to shift to my OneNote that I'm gonna talk through. I click record. Gives me a little countdown. And off I go. Talk through what I wanna talk through. Okay, blah, 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 blah. When I'm ready to stop, I have to go up and push my mouse up to the top of the screen and I get my little menu back again. I can always pause or I can stop. And here we go. It will just dump that into my PowerPoint slide. Okay, so there's the video clip there. Now I can press play. So it's in PowerPoint, so I could save the whole PowerPoint. If I get my recording tab up, you'll see that on my other video on how to do um, uh, record your slideshow on PowerPoint, how to get this tab up. If you don't have to do that, you've got lots of options here like publish to stream or export the whole slideshow as a video. Or right, actually, if I just wanna save that tiny little video clip I've made as a video clip separately, I can right click on it, do save media as, and uh, pick uh, where to save it, click save, and there it is, it's just a video clip there. And off I go. So there you go. Obviously there are far more advanced ways of doing screencasts on your computer, but sometimes that software isn't available or you're offline and you just need a really simple tool like this to, to get what you need. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time.